Hello friends, today we will learn how to use auto postback property in ASP.NET. Auto postback is very important concept in ASP.NET. Basically auto postback is a property that allows you to submit an ASP.NET page to server without clicking on any submit button. It is a boolean property and its default value is 0 means by default it is false. If you set its value as true then if user change the selected index of any control it will trigger an event as soon as this item is selected. So let's take an example. We have a list box control. So first of all add a list box control and add some item here. For an example I'm adding three items here. Red, blue and green. Now I want to display its selected value on a label control. So add a label control also. So now what I want, I want whenever user click on any value of this list box control, it should print that value on label control. So double click on this list box control and check if list box one dot selected item not equal to null. It means user has selected something on list box. So I want to print that value on label one dot text. So I'm printing label one dot txt is equals to you selected list box one not selected item property and dot two string. And if user has not selected any value then it should display Select any item from list box. So now check if I didn't set its property true because I told you by default its value is false. So when I will run this program, you will see that whenever the user will select any value from this list box control, it will not display its value. It needs some submit button to print its value. So if I click on this red, blue, I find that nothing is posting back to the server. I need a submit button to get it done. So I want it to be automatically posted to the server. So for that I need to set its auto postback property to true. You can set the auto postback property from here enable and you can also do it manually with the help of using its property as auto postback set to true. So I am setting its auto postback is equals to true. Now again check your application. Suppose I click on blue, so it will print you selected blue. Here you can check whenever the user will select any index, it will reload the page. It means it's posting the request to the server. So in this way you can use auto post back property to submit any request to server without the help of any submit button. Thank you and hope you will like our tutorial and don't forget to subscribe our channel.